Hello, the other day it was trash day in my other grandma's neighborhood, and my dad saw these plastic chairs sitting by the side of the road, so he picked them up for me and brought them home. These are U.S. Leisure chairs, and I have no idea what this model is called. And no, this is not the original color for these chairs. Somebody painted them. And I'll have to admit, they actually did a pretty dang good job painting these chairs. I thought they were really that color. As soon as I saw these chairs, I knew they were U.S. Leisure chairs because they look absolutely identical to the Montego chair made by U.S. Leisure. I mean, it had the same shape and everything. The only thing that was different was the back was. This chair has kind of a floral lattice back. It's got a rose right there. Somewhat would be... Actually, those are... What would that be? That would be like the vine. And that's like the lattice. Let's take a closer look at these chairs pulling off of the stack. Ooh, that's really lightweight. It's extremely lightweight. So basically we have that flower pattern on the back. We have this little notch here on the arms. Regular traditional style plastic chair legs. The seat and everything has got a texture to it. It has these lines to make it look more aesthetic. There's the hole for drainage that doesn't look like it was doing any bit of good because you can see where all the water was laying on this chair. So let's come over to the back side of the chair and take a look at it. Yeah, it's kind of got some ribbing on it. Not much ribbing up here on the flowers. Not much ribbing on the sides of the chair either. It's pretty flexible. You can see the plastic float in the mold, the traditional style plastic chair legs. There's the rib that keeps the back legs sturdy. It has a cross piece on the bottom. There's the hole for drainage right there. Recycling sign, it says US Leisure and Ketter Group. And it says 04 on these chairs, that's when it was made. And if you come over here, it says warning. Do not stand or use as a step stand on or use as a step stool. Do not exceed 250 pounds. Do not use on slick, smooth surfaces. Do not lean back on rear legs. Residential use only. Yeah, it's this rib here. This rib here, the cross piece on the bottom. Yeah, the recycling sign. You can see the dent for the pattern on the seat. The front rib. There's a little bit of ribbing under here. I don't see a single rubber foot on this chair. They all fell off. Like I said, somebody went to town painting this chair. Yeah, it reeks like paint. So we have yellow, we have blue, we have orange, and we have green. Actually, I think that was red. Yeah, that was red at some point. It's faded. We have our garage door spring whip cracking catapult on the floor right there. We have our bicycle air raid siren that we're building. Got your electrical room behind the chair. And over here you have this big ass 25 foot long model train that weighs about probably eight, 900 pounds. Yeah, I had these old swings sitting around to make go-karts out of, but unfortunately I cannot use these anymore as I do not fit in them. So they're gonna go in the recycling next week.